وَقَالَ الرَّسُولُ يَا رَبْ If that's, all of this wasn't bad enough, the Messenger himself وسلم, speaks to Allah directly, يَا رَبْ إِنَّ قَوْمِ اتَّخَذُوا هَذَا الْقُرْآنَ مَهْجُورًا This nation of mine, no doubt about it, they took this Qur'an, هَذَا Qur'an. even there, there's a beauty in even the use of the word هَذَا here, as opposed to ذَلِكَ Like when you start reciting Qur'an in the beginning, أَلِفْ لَا مِيمْ ذَلِكَ الْكِتَابُ لَا رَيْبَ فِيهِ Here Allah does not say ذَلِكَ Qur'an. He says هَذَا Qur'an, هَذَا لِلْقَرِيبِ This Qur'an was right here, it was right in front of you, and you still wouldn't take it seriously. And the Messenger on Judgment Day وسلم, complains, this nation of mine took this Qur'an, not that Qur'an, this Qur'an. One of the other rhetorical benefits, balaghi benefits, of the word هَذَا in this ayah, is on Judgment Day, it will be like the Qur'an will be brought as a witness. You know how in court, you bring the witness? And then the witnesses or the evidence is brought and you point at the evidence and say, this is the evidence that that guy is a criminal. So the, ev the evidence itself will be the Qur'an on Judgment Day. Your case is bad enough as it is. And then the Qur'an is brought as the witness and the attorney making, bringing the evidence is the Messenger wasallam, And he's pointing at the Qur'an and saying, these people, this nation of mine, they took this Qur'an, mahjura, they took it mahjuran. Hajara, they say in Arabic, taraka shay'an. Oh, uh, it's in hajartahu hajran, yani taraktahu, aghfaltahu. You made something forgotten. You completely ignored something. You left it way behind. I think even the Urdu speakers here know the word hijra. Everybody knows the word hijra. To migrate something. The, the ayah doesn't even say matrukan. Matrukan means left behind. Mahjuran means left way behind. They didn't just leave the Qur'an, they left it way behind. They, had, they weren't even close. They just migrated away, away, away from it. And I, I want to remind myself and all of you today, the character that the Qur'an wants from us, if we are away from that, even though we're reciting the Qur'an, it's still a hijrah from the Qur'an. It's still a hijrah from the Qur'an. We're migrating away from the Qur'an if we're reciting it, and we're not seeing any change in our character. That's, that's the quality of Bani Israel. And that's why this, this by the way, is Surah Al-Furqan, the 25th Surah of the Qur'an. It's not a long surah, so you can read it in translation when you go home. But what's remarkable about this surah, this is the middle of it. When you get to the end of it, the whole ending is about what kind of character is required from a Muslim. What should the personality of a Muslim look like? Why is that mentioned when the Messenger complained they abandoned the Qur'an? Because the person who does not abandon the Qur'an has a different kind of personality. Their personality is different, their character is different, their actions are different, even who they hang out with is different. وَإِذَا مَرُّوا بِاللَّغْوِ مَرُّوا كِرَامًا In the same surah, when they walk by useless conversation, they walk by in a dignified way, they don't get entangled in it. They, they, they stay away from useless company even. It affects every part of their personality. That's the abandonment of the Qur'an. I feel that the ummah is becoming, and you and I are becoming more and more and more guilty of, and we have to be worried about it. I was reading this ayah, my, my daughter recites Qur'an to me at home. And she was reading this ayah, and I was just checking her tajweed, and she's reciting the ayah, and I sat there and I started crying. And she said, Abba, why are you crying? I said, because of what Allah said. You know, because of what Allah said. She said, what did He say? And I said, you know, He says, the messenger will complain about a group of people who left the Qur'an. And she says to me, but we didn't leave the Qur'an, we're reading it. And I said, Beta, if only it was just about reading, it would have been easy. It's not just about reading it. You have to love this, can we, can we prove to ourselves we love this book more than any other movie that comes out? More than any video game? Do we, spend more do we want to spend more time with this book than anything else? Do we want to be like what this book wants us to be? More, like, more than we want to be like anyone else or anything else? How you younger guys want to look like ripped because they see a picture of a guy with muscles? Girls want to look like someone? People want to make money like someone? People idolize these people? Who idolizes the character that the Qur'an embodied? The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. كَانَ خُلُقُهُ الْقُرْآنِ Who like, goes to sleep and I think, Man, I wish I had a six pack. Instead of thinking, Man, I wish I had more sunnah in my life. Who says that? Who, well, how are we not abandoning it? How are we not abandoning it? We have to be a people that take coming back to Allah's book seriously. May Allah Azza wa make us a people that love this book and make it a big part of our lives so everything in our life is given blessing and given life through the barakah of this book. May Allah Azza wa help the Muslims understand this book as they should understand it. May Allah help you as parents 
not only love and understand this book yourselves, but give you the ability to teach it to your children, so your children can testify for you on Judgment Day. May Allah Azza wa Jalla help the masajid, the schools, the, the madaris of hifz, all these kids that are memorizing Qur'an. May Allah not just help them memorize Qur'an, but to help them understand every word of it, and to live that word of it, and to pray with their hearts, not with their tongues when they pray. May Allah make us of those people that really live the Qur'an, and the Qur'an lives inside their hearts. بَلْ هِيَا بَلْ هُوَ آيَاتٌ بَيِّنَاتٌ فِي صُدُورِ الَّذِينَ أُوتُ الْعِلْمِ These are ayat that live in the chests of those who've been given knowledge. Chests, the Qur'an lives in the person's heart. May Allah enter this Qur'an into all of our hearts. بَارَكَ اللَّهُ لِي وَلَكُمْ فِي الْقُرْآنِ الْحَكِيمِ وَنَفَعْنِي وَإِيَّاكُمْ بِالْآيَاتِ وَذِكْرِ